Hey guys, welcome to this video about working in retail, food shops, grocery shops. This video is for anybody who has worked, is working or is going to work in retail or for anyone else who is interested in listening to this video. Yes. I wish I would have seen a video like this before I started my job. I actually had a lot of negativity towards my job. Before I even started, I thought it was not going to be really good at all. And instead of looking for the positives, I was sort of looking for the negatives. You have to have certain skills to even consider it. You have to be quick. You have to be effective. You have to be able to talk to people. Be aware that you're going to meet the worst people in the entire world and also the nicest people in the world. You're physically and psychologically going to be really, really tired. I've worked in a food shop for three years. The first two years, were not very nice. I didn't enjoy it. I just didn't know that it was possible to like this job. In my current third year of working at a shop, I am actually really enjoying it. I see the positives in it. I have fun with it. Okay, so number one, the till. And by till, I mean cash register. If you work in a till for eight hours a day or more, which should not be legal, there is no way you're gonna like your job. If you have to sit there for eight hours, you're gonna lose your mind. It's incredibly mentally draining. So if you can, I would really recommend you to talk to your boss and be like, hey, I really need to get other responsibilities and things to do because I can't sit here for eight hours. No. In most shops, you can probably ask to be on the floor for a while. I don't know what you call it in other countries, but in Norway, we call it be on the floor when you go stacking shelves and tidying and other various things. Definitely try to get a variation of things to do. You'll get a much nicer relationship to the till if you don't have to be there all the time. Number two, customers. You will never know who you're gonna meet. Sometimes you'll meet the craziest drama queens and other times you'll meet super friendly, lovely old men. I'll tell you a story. The other day, there was a man and he bought apples. He insisted that he had paid a lot more than he should have. So I was gonna give him his money back and I was just asking if I could weigh his apples again to make sure I got the right price. Because he didn't understand and what the heck I was saying. He got really mad, he took his receipt, he ripped it all up into a thousand pieces, he threw it in the air and he said, I'm never coming back. I was really, really confused. Dude, I'm just gonna give you your money back, like right now. But he wouldn't even listen. He was like, nope, goodbye. Some people are just like that. They're just kind of crazy. You can't really do anything else than laugh at it, laugh it off, don't get frustrated. Because if you do, you're gonna hate everyone. You're gonna be like, customers, are the devils. So that's just something you have to live with, I'm sorry. Number three, be service-minded. As you may know, I do live in Norway and a lot of people working in shops in Norway are not service-minded whatsoever. Whenever I go to Britain or I've been to the US this summer, oh my god, people there are amazing. And that really inspired me to be a lot nicer to my customers. It's actually fun, it's like a game now. A lot of the time I'll try and be nicer to the customer than they expect me to be, but definitely kill them with kindness. I mean, the really bad ones, they need extra good care and just try and make them feel bad by being way too nice. Sometimes it doesn't work, but you can try. I don't know. After last Christmas, I was finally allowed to get more responsibility. The job was like 80% more fun. When you get things to do, an array of lots of different things, it's like you accomplish things and it's really satisfying. And instead of always looking for the negatives like I used to do before, I look for the positives in this job and that's what makes it bearable. Also it helps that my co-workers are really awesome and I've made friends. I'm really happy with where I work. It's only temporary. I mean I'm a freaking student. I don't know why I'm so enthusiastic about this. It's really weird how I changed. I just wanted to make a sort of different kind of video because there are so many negative videos on working in retail. I just wanted to point out the positives. Thanks for watching everyone. Share this video with anyone who works in retail and uh, yeah. See you later. Bye.